Thank you guys so much for coming. Uh, my first question, well, my, my question for you is, uh, we've seen a lot of information on uh, the God particle that's come to light lately. I, I just wanted to see what you had in reference to that. And a lot of atheists say that it's the defining thing that uh, can prove without doubt that there was no God. So I was just curious as to uh, the thought process behind the God particle. If you go to reasonablefaith.org, You'll find three things on the Higgs boson. There's a question of the week about two weeks ago that looks at this. There's an audio blog that I give on this. And then the third thing is a Reasonable Faith podcast with Kevin Harris. Uh, all of these address this question. There have been a lot of really, really irresponsible statements I've seen in the media by professional scientists about the theological significance of this particle. And I think it's very clear that naturalistic or atheistic thinkers are distorting science uh, in order to try to get some mileage out of this. The Higgs boson is a particle that is part of the standard model of particle physics that everyone has accepted. It's just the last particle in that model to be empirically confirmed. Scientists always suspected it was there, but they just didn't have any evidence for it, and now they do, so that it ratifies the standard model of particle physics that everybody's been working with. This particle sets up a field throughout space so that other particles that are moving through this field acquire the various masses they do. The photon, for example, has no mass at all, but the electron has a very tiny mass, and this is determined by this Higgs field. This field is not eternal. Uh, it doesn't exist uh, eternally into the past. When you get back to a certain point in the past, the universe is so dense and so hot that the four forces of nature uh, don't even exist as separate forces. You have to have a grand unified theory, and that doesn't exist yet. Before that, you need a so-called theory of everything or a quantum theory of gravity. That doesn't exist yet. We don't know what it is. So this Higgs boson and the particle that it, uh, and the, the model of particle physics that it describes is just part of the description of the universe as it exists at relatively low temperatures that we find today. But the particle doesn't do anything to explain the origin of the universe. It's not eternal. It's not necessary. It's just part of the standard model. It, it has no theological significance at all, so far as I can see.